look ridiculous? Absolutely. That's Six Flags Fiesta Texas. Testing Boomerang Coaster Coaster at Six Flags Fiesta Texas in San Antonio. Boomerang is a shuttle coaster, meaning it doesn't complete a full circuit, but instead retraces its steps. The train is pulled backwards uphill and then releases through the station. On this ride, riders will experience up to 5.2 Gs during the loop, and Boomerang has a maximum height of 116 feet, going for up to 47 miles per hour, lasting 1 minute and 48 seconds. Throughout the day, I never really saw a long line for this ride, and it apparently can hold up to 760 riders per hour. The track is 935 feet long with three inversions, and you'll actually experience those twice because you'll uh, experience them going forward and backwards. If you'd like your own Fat Tested Travel shirt, check out FatTestedClothing.com. All right, let's see if I can make this work. It's a big lip. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't get my head up under it. That's going to be a fail. Huh? Apparently. Fortunately, Boomerang Coast to Coaster fails the fat test. Want to know what you can fit on a Six Flags Fiesta Texas? Make sure to check out my Patreon. You'll get access to all of my walkthroughs, full walkthroughs early, and checklists and guides to know what you can fit on. That's patreon.com slash fat test to travel. Check it out in the description below. It is already 103 degrees. Do we really need a fire effect? Fat test daredevil dive at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Daredevil dive is a sky flyer attraction. The rider is strapped into a plane and spun around a giant tower experiencing the sensation of free flight aerobatics. Riders do have a level of control over their planes and roll head over heels or fly straight based on how they manipulate the wings. The tower is 75 feet tall, giving riders a view of the park, and it lasts about two minutes. Here is what the seats look like. I think you'll see a lot of shoulder harnesses on rides here. Reference, that's where you have to get it to turn green. Fit in the seat, it's a little bit snug. Let's see. It comes down over my neck. Looks like it's gonna be a no. I can't even see it. Oh, this is a bad design. It's gonna be a no for me on Daredevil Dive. Does not pass the fat test. You guys said you were looking forward to this one. Fat testing the Gully Washer here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. The Gully Washer is a river rapids ride simulating the experience of whitewater rafting. You'll enter a circular raft that's supposed to hold up from eight to 12 passengers, or like three of me, and it will last around five to seven minutes. Do plan to get wet and take care of your personal items. Quite a bit of stairs in the line. First ride, fit perfectly. Really no problem. I'm not going to film on the rest of the ride, but let's see how it is. It was a lot of fun, and there was really nobody in line, so they actually let me go around twice. I am soaked, but it was uh, it was a lot. It was a fun ride. Um, lot not really any theming to the ride, but uh, kind of like a Kali River Rapids without the drop. There's no real drop on this ride. About three smaller people can fit in the seat. Uh, but I think uh, as an extra plus size adult and a kid, you definitely should be able to fit in that seat as well. The Fat Test Sky Screamer here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Sky Screamer is a star flyer attraction and raises riders 250 feet up to go about 35 to 40 miles an hour. I actually find these rides terrifying. The last death on one of the 
uh, on a on an amusement park ride was on one of these. It was at Icon Park in Orlando. On these, the buckle goes down, making it a little more difficult. There we go. All right, they're gonna try to fit both of us on here. So I may actually fit on this, which is terrifying. We'll see how it goes. Fortunately, we were like an inch away, like very, very close for it fitting in the center. Uh, there's two locks you have to do. You have to do the belt and you have to do the thing between your legs, which I couldn't do in the ride. Um, so close, so close. I didn't get his name, but I wanted to give a shout out to that team member. He was awesome, very, extremely friendly. Um, so just a shout out to him. I apologize. It's the blonde guy that was working uh, screen skyscrapers. Broncos ride, which is a little drop ride for children. You have to be between 36 and 54 inches to ride. And if you are taller than that, you are not able to. But there's the ride. It's a cute ride. Play area here. Pirate ship. Fat test. The Joker. Carnival of Chaos. Here at Six Flags Tex Fiesta, Texas. Joker Carnival of Chaos is a pendulum style swing and one of the largest of its kind, holding up to 40 riders at once. Riders swing back and forth while also spinning in a circle, and it goes up to 172 feet high and up 75 miles an hour, lasting about three minutes total. Here is the test seat for the Joker Carnival of Chaos. I do not quite fit in. Oh, well. Fortunately, oh. there it is. Now you kind of really have to have to somebody else to tell you even if you did fit, because this is where the line is. So you can go right, right there. Got too much cushion on the bottom to make it fork. Let's te fat test Batman the Ride here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Batman the Ride is a 4D free spin ride. That means you're going to rotate on a horizontal axis at, and as it goes around the track, creating this unique flipping experience. This is a sped up video. Don't worry. This is about two times speed. The ride itself lasts about a minute total. It goes 120 feet in the air and the track is approximately 1,019 feet. It's actually a fairly slow ride. Only 38 miles an hour. This ride... It's a little hidden away, so make sure you don't miss the test seat. This is the test seat. Folks with upper body benches may not be able to ride. We are so close. Y'all gotta look how close that is. So close. But it's getting like uncomfortable and this thing spins. Fat test going on here. Gosh. Anyway, um, so I'm going to pass on this one. I think mean, it's so close though. Uh, I think you might be able to do it if you really push down hard and had somebody, you know, help you buckle it in. Um, so close. The seat part is actually very, very hard. So there's no problem. The seat is plenty wide enough. It's a little tight around the head, my big old head. Here is the Batman. I like his knee pads. Time to fat test Wonder Woman, the Golden Lasso Coaster here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. This was the world's first single rail iBox track roller coaster. It has a 90 degree drop and goes about 52 miles an hour. Here is what it looks like here. Light there. Thing comes up like this. My neck, but we're pretty far from being able to get it to buckle in. There's that. And then it has to go down between my legs. Unfortunately, Wonder Woman does not pass the fat test. We're testing Goliath at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Goliath is an inverted roller coaster, meaning the riders are actually below the seat on the track, 
with their feet dangling down. It was originally the Batman the Ride at Six Flags New Orleans, but was relocated and renamed here at Six Flags Fiesta. The main drop is about 80 feet. It goes about 50 miles an hour, and it has five inversions, including a vertical loop, a zero G roll, and two corkscrews. And the track length is about 2,700 feet. It lasts about two minutes. Here we have the test seat. Fortunately, the seat is already really tight just on the end, and you can see here, you're just not gonna fit down there. Uh, uh, that's about how far it is. We're still several inches away from making that work. Fortunately, Goliath fails the fat test. On to the next one. If you'd like a full checklist of all of the rides, make sure to join my Patreon at patreon.com slash fat test to travel. They do have character meet and greets. We have Sylvester, Yosemite, Sam, and I believe that's Taz hiding behind that big hat. It's Junior. Time to fat test the Roadrunner Express here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. This is the first roller coaster I've not seen a test seat for. It is a family style coaster going up 61 feet tall with a drop about 27 feet and only gets up to about 35 miles per hour. It is a 2800 foot track and lasts about 1 minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> Fits all the rides, but I do appreciate there's these little cubbies along the wall that you can put your stuff in so you do not have to uh, get a locker for the back. Yes, he meant nine. There we go. It just locks perfectly. No problem whatsoever. I fit perfectly fine in it. The ride just ended. It was a lot of fun great area to really film this ride but there's no loops it's just a lot of turns uh, spirals a little bit um, I would say this is kind of in the middle of for the Disney World people Slinky Dog Dash and Everest on intensity level uh, but it is a little more shaky than any of those say the seat was actually really comfortable the bar uh, did not had plenty of space for my legs and thighs it did not have to come down too far uh, really good uh, easy uh, accessible ride in other words Roadrunner Express passes the fat test time to fat test Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger which is one of the newer rides in the park opening in 2022 this is the test seat You have the boxes for you, so you don't need the locker. If you've got something, they'll fit in that. Okay, let's try this test seat. You do have to be able to jump up into it. It is a good ways off the ground. Fortunately, that's going to be a no for me. I can't even really get into the seat, so no on Dr. Diabolicals. I couldn't really get into the seat, so Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger is uh, did not pass the fat test. It was very tight. Fat test the Iron Rattler here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. When I posted I was going here, a lot of people told me how much they loved this ride. This is a hybrid roller coaster combining wooden and steel tracks. Here is the test seat. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know. How, oh, this green light, that's actually a really good indicator. All right, so that green light has to come on, and it comes on when you reach. Here. So that's where it has to be for the green light to come on. I have a feeling that's going to be a no based on that. Also, this seat is really hot. Unfortunately, the light is not coming on, and I'm burning myself for you guys, so make sure to follow. The Iron Rattler does not pass the fat test. Originally, this was just known as the Rattler, but did undergo a transformation by Rocky Mountain Construction in 2013 and became the Iron Rattler. Foghorn Leghorn's Barnyard Railway and Yosemite Sam's Wacky Wagons. You have to, you can ride as an adult, but you have to have a kid 
with you. Fast has stunt pilots, which is their Dumbo style ride here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio. See, it's an extremely popular ride here at Six Flags. Here you go. It is shaky, just so you know. And it is hot. Oh, it's hot. So you just un unbuckle this. So unfortunately, the seat belt is not long enough and they do not have an extension. So that's gonna be a no. This would take was an extension Six Flags. If you can get that, that'd be great. Actually, stunt pilots fails the fat test. You do have to be under 54 inches to ride bunking Broncos. And it's a little like, I wouldn't call it a drop ride, <laughs> but you know, that style of ride. Testing Sky Searcher here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. I know I have a lot of parents that want to know if they can ride with their kids. So yes, I do test everything, including stuff like this. And yes, I feel silly, but you'd be amazed how many parents love this. All right, here it is. Look at it, it's so tiny. Can I get in? Oh, you know what? I made it. <laughs> I was wrong. Surprisingly, Sky Search as fast as the fat test. Here we go. We. <laughs> Around we go. <laughs> These are the things I do for you. So if you're not following, please make sure to do so. <laughs> Uh, and you know what? I love these things. I love going around in a circle. Uh, I just feel so silly. So the door was a little tight and you're not going to have a ton of room. But if you can get in enough so it can close and sit down, you are good to go. Sky Searchers passes the fat test. It's in Rambling Roads here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. A little mild thing here. Looks like it's uh, similar to test track but let's see if these seat belts are long enough because these are divided between two seats this is not one long bench seat or this is a bill on bench seat but the seat belt is divided into two so the seat belt is divided into two on these and these are not real steering wheels <clears throat> bit tight do i look ridiculous absolutely can i just stop here in the shade for a bit oh or can they splash me i wish we had enough speed had enough speed to get like a breeze yes if you're wondering the people on the little coaster are giving me a look is like why is that fat man in this ride all alone as you can see rambling road passes the fat test fat test streamliner coaster here at six flags fiesta in san antonio texas this is a little family style kid coaster but there's no upper limit on who can ride. all right here's the seat Got that one long belt again. It's a few inches too short for me. Best not to hold up the lines or anything. I don't want to hold up the rides if I don't fit. So sorry if I can get more footage on there. But yeah, the belt was just a little bit too short. So it looks like the ones where it's divided are actually better. I mean, they're still tight, but it's better than the full one. And they don't have extension belts. Uh, Six Flags is something I think easy you could fix if it's not a uh, weight restraint. I think that could work out for you. Seeing the supervillain swings here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. Supervillain swing, 48 inches. I really like all of these uh, things to tell you about the, yes, I just ran into that, to tell you about the supervillains. Reverse Flash and the Riddler and Catwoman. So this is one of two sets of swings they have. The other one goes really, really high up into the air. Also, you'll see that the latch is a little different. On the other one, the latch bottom uh, latches onto the bottom of the seat. On this one, it latches onto the bar, which I think may make it easier 
to actually do for a bigger person. He kind of has this swirl, swirl going up and down. All right, so here's the seats. They look pretty tiny. They are blaring music everywhere, so it's hard not to get copyrighted. I'm trying to avoid that, so I can keep doing these. Let's see if I can fit in this. Yep, unfortunately, the seat is too tiny. <laughs> it was just too big. I did not fit. Swings fails the fat test. On to the next one. I have a place called Fat Burger, which would have been fantastic to try, but it's under construction. Let's talk, yeah. Let's talk staying cool. So if you go to any of the restaurants, you can go just past the line, just say, hey, look, I just need water. And I asked for the large cup and they did give it to me. I don't know if that's normal, but they did give me a large cup of water. Now, if that's not enough and you pushed yourself, then there is this first aid station. This is a very cool room. It's got a lot of, if you need any help, these pimp cokes are great. Just try to keep it quiet because it is meant to be a low sensory zone as well. So if you got someone with autism or that just needs a break from all the stuff going on, they can do that. And they also gave me this, which is kind of like a Gatorade. Uh, it has all the electrolytes and all that in it. The recommendation is try to avoid any large meals while you are at the theme park or at least earlier in the day. Try to eat something light um, and just you don't want to get bogged down. I think that will uh, not help either. Testing Hustler here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. Nine ball corner pocket. It's a fun detail. Let's go with red. Oh, okay. It's a teacup style ride. You have to. Okay. Yep, it's like an enclosed teacup. And I fit just, actually there's a lot more room in here than the teacup, because my belly is usually like right there. Wait, that's usually tighter. Once you're in here, I do not see a way out. Depends on its own. I thought that was him. This was a wheel that turned and it was just locked in place. Wait, oh, never mind. I was wrong again. You just have to get a little motion going. Oh, I'm telling you guys, spinning rides and fat guys. <laughs> Should make that a series. Whoa. There's the corner pocket. Fuller passes the fat test. Make sure to check out the next video. For fat test to travel. What's that? It's my channel. I do. I help plus size people travel. Oh yeah! Subscribe! Subscribe right now! Subscribe right now! <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Right, she asked if she could be in it. I said yes. Time to fat test Poltergeist here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. Bartholomew Manor. Why does this remind me of something? So y'all, I definitely went in thinking this was a Haunted Mansion style ride. Oh, it definitely is not. It's actually a launch roller coaster. Instead of a chain lift, it launches you from zero to 60 in just a few seconds. It has what's called a spaghetti bowl design where the riders experience a twisted and intertwined, intertwined track layout. So you don't necessarily know where the next turn is coming from. The maximum height is 150 feet and it only lasts about one minute and 15 seconds. So I was tricked. I thought this was going to be like a low, like a haunted mansion. Here's the seat. Oh, that is not a lot of room. 
for your sake. Please remain seated. And and please decide the rise all the time. So I don't think this is gonna fit because it's supposed to be down there. Yeah, I have to be able to buckle this, right? Yeah. Alrighty. I'll let him try. Is there any way to buckle it? No, it's not gonna work. Alright. Good night. Oh, that's uh, definitely a lot different than what I thought this was. Foolish I see the thing. You definitely tricked me with that one because I thought it was definitely a haunted mansion style slow ride. Um, they even used the phrase, this haunted mansion and foolish mortals in the uh, audio. So I, uh, I was played, I fell for it, but unfortunately I also watched another uh, young woman have to walk off and she clearly was uh, very sad about it, which reminded me of why I do this stuff because it just, it sucks to do this, to have to walk off a ride. It's, I mean, I'm used to it. It doesn't bother me at all, but um, I hate that other people have to go through it. Anyway, uh, so Poltergeist does not pass the fat test, and uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Testing scream at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. Scream as a triple tower combo ride with each one offering a different experience from a space shot, a turbo drop, and a combo. Space shot is rapid ascent, free fall is a turbo drop, and then there's one that has a combination of both. The speeds get up to 47 miles per hour and it lasts about 40 seconds. The tower is 205 feet tall. Let's see. So it is kind of high off the ground. The seat is just too small. It's okay. The seat was pretty high up and it was uh, hurting my nether regions trying to get into it. So, uh, it and it was very tight on the side. So, unfortunately, that one's going to be a fail, but it does look like a fun ride. A couple more kids' rides. You do have to have a kid with you to ride. Daffy's bus stop. You see, it goes up and around. And Taz's Tornado is the same way. You have to have a kid with you if you want to be able to ride it with your kid. So no adults by themselves. Seeing the Wave Runner at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. This is on the boardwalk. Scrambler, that's what I was trying to think of. Let's see if I fit in this thing. So you have a belt and then the lap thing. You have to step up into it. Worked. The belt is on. That latched. We made it. Up here, but you know what? It's okay. We made it on the ride. I could not fit another person on here with this belt, at least in my size, but um, I definitely fit. I'm excited. The ride all to myself. Definitely a bit dizzy, but that was a lot of fun. Break, and I wanted to say how awesome I found all of the team members here at Six Flags Fiesta Texas to be. They've all been extremely gracious and wonderful to uh, work with on the rides. Testing Spin Sanity here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas. Spin Sanity is an adaptation of the Tilt-A-Whirl and opened in 2016. There's also a Harley Quinn Spin Sanity that is very different at Six Flags over Texas. All right, so there's no buckle, there's just the bar. You're probably going to be sitting at some sort of angle on here. I'm sliding. 
Oh, careful, 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 careful. That's got to be careful. <laughs> be careful about that for some reason. You got to watch out because it started, they were not looking where they were going and it started circling around. You can only see they're a little dated. It's not actually locked, it's a weighted machine. Oh, uh, clear? No. So that ride is much more intense than you think, especially the longer it goes. Uh, so apparently things that spin and water rides have a tendency to pass the fat test. But either way, spin sanity passes the fat test. Fireball is closed and I don't see a test seat to check it out. Go-karts hidden away down here. Yes, Pirates of the Dead Sea here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, in San Antonio. The website description for this cracks me up. Set sail on an epic pirate adventure as you battle Captain Morgold and his evil band of scallywag pirates to find the lost treasure of Port Fiesta. Huh? I? I just suddenly get all goofy. It's an interactive ride. I wasn't expecting that either. Here's a look at the vehicle. It's one large bench seat. I assume this doesn't really have to lock. All right, good. And then you take this. Now you're able to shoot. I got 820. Good job, me hearty. All right. It's great. That was uh, Pirates of the Caribbean meets Buzz Lightyear. And a lot of fun. Pirates of the Dead Sea definitely passes the fat test. I test the Ferris wheel here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. Apparently it's called the Crow's Nest and it's 90 feet tall. It is. There's doesn't look like there's any seatbelt. It's just a rocking. All right. Besides sitting a little low to the ground, this is great. Stretch out my legs and relax. I actually find these sorts of things much scarier than Pixar Pal Around. Now, part of that is just because if you look at the railings and everything, you're not going to, for the most part, I mean, more, you're seeing it a little bit more and more, but you don't see this kind of um, dirtiness or faded, uh, so much fadedness at. Uh, Disney World. Everything is pretty uh, kept up extremely well, but here you can see this stuff all feels like it hasn't really been taken care of. Now, I'm sure it has. I'm sure they do maintenance, and but they've not really made sure to make uh, that uh, perception is kept up with and that it looks good. Top, and I'm relaxing, and there's a nice breeze. Oh, yeah. This is my kind of ride. <laughs> You can keep your roller coasters. Next up, time to fat test Hurricane Force 5 here at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio. <clears throat> Hurricane Force 5 is a pendulum style ride where you swing and spin up to 120 degrees. <laughs> Looks like the restraint comes up on your back. We shall see how this goes. Oh, reminds me of of um, Avatar: Flight of Passage. Flight up as far as you can. Let's see if it works. It worked. Oh, it worked. Really? Okay, awesome. Was not expecting that. No, I fit on that. It spins. For some reason, spinning things tend to work out. Pandemonium here at 
Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in San Antonio. Let's see if my theory about spinning rides and being more likely to fit in them for large people says working. All right. Well, I'll fit there. Am I good? Is it good or no? Nope. All righty. Well, thank you anyway. I'm sorry, sir. No, you're fine. Oh, thank you. Theory has been busted, but again, it was a very close one. That and Batman were the spinning rides that just did not quite work out, but they were super nice. But honestly, I am, I've spun so much, I'm kind of glad not to spin anymore. I'm going to fat test the Grand Carousel here at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, near San Antonio. They have a seahorse. Or is that a dragon? Oh, it's a dragon. Yeah. Let's try the cat with the fish. I did not do it because that tail actually makes it more difficult to get over. I don't see any belts. Looks like we're good. Jackrabbit. I love a carousel. Yeah, come on now. <laughs> Music they play is Looney Tune theme song. Yay! <laughs> I love the carousel. Let's go. See, not enough people love the carousel, so there's no long line. I wonder if those actually work. Hello. <laughs> yep, ostrich. Aren't you supposed to be faster than the rest of us? Next up is that. Carousel passed the fat test. <laughs> Kinderstein is a teacup ride, and you have to be really tiny to fit on this one. It has bugs, whitewater rapids. So I am at medieval times. Bugs Bunny Whitewater Rapids is a Looney Tunes themed log flume and has a drop of 40 feet. Here it is. Log. No bar or anything and it's a wide seat. You can probably fit another small person beside you. Plenty of room. By the way, this does not stop. It's kind of an omni -ringer situation. Just so you know, they're prepared for it floods down in here probably because I'm a big guy I hope I ain't sick of the boat <laughs> that would be embarrassing y'all know we're gonna go down that extra fast if it's not controlled so if you're a big guy I recommend sitting in the middle because it's gonna help balance everything a little bit better remain seat oh we got a little water coming down here Oh, thanks, Bucks. Oh, I guess I didn't realize this was that long. Oh, look at that. Whoa! I thought this was like one little drop. Okay. But I also thought that about Splash Mountain, and that was like a very long ride. Get him, Bugs! Does Yosemite Sam's dragon have a name? Well, I see how it is, just because I don't know your name. Is it up and straight down? Oh, we got a little ice. Oh, I'm soaked now. Okay, that definitely came over the sides. 
<laughs> oh, look how high the Joker is going. I wonder if Superman is the highest ride in the park. Okay. There is nothing holding you in, by the way. I mean, technically, I guess there's not anything. There's just less space when you were on Splash. Actually, I didn't get that wet. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I am just enough wet. I'm probably about to find like there's another thing that's gonna squirt me. Oh, a little cold water. That was fun. <laughs> Make all again. It's awesome. I'm gonna put my phone away for this. But these pointless things are here. Yeah. Tight. <laughs> Time for the ultimate fat test with Superman Krypton coaster here at Six Flags Fiesta. Texas and San Antonio. As a massive Superman fan, I really hope this one works. Okay, this one actually gives us dimensions of over 53 inches. Okay. It's upper body dimensions, and I don't know what that means, to be honest. Is that like when my big butt is sitting down? Let's see. Here's the test seat. I have the two belts, which means it's the extra large one. Fortunately, Bibbo Babowski could not fit in this seat. It is a little too big. Actually, Bibbo's probably a little, depending on which Bibbo. But anyway, uh, Superman clearly fails the fat test. I am not fit enough for the Man of Steel. Does this look like Super Boy to anyone else? Get that $30 and then above it. Keep going. <laughs> Though I, I wish, like, this is not the first time. Why all the spider rubs? Like, give him a little dusting. He deserves more respect that there's a Daily Planet newsstand. Y'all, I could spend so much money if I had any. To remind you to become a patron at patreon.com slash fat test to travel. Check out the link above or below or in the bio. Leaving Texas soon, I did go ahead and splurge and I had my 20% off. So I did get the Texas Superman hat. I actually still have a Johnny Rockets. I haven't seen a Johnny Rockets in forever. So I got to eat here, of course. Time to fat test the Six Flags Fiesta Texas Railroad with Miss Kitty. He is just a large bench seat. We'll be perfectly fine on here. Enjoyed that walkthrough of Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, and San Antonio. Make sure to follow and watch this next video.